From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. The private security industry is growing fast in Africa. Some 15,000 guards work in Uganda's cities alone. Very few are women. Jane is one. She quit her last job when her baby was born. Now she works for tight security. Mohammed Ali Bahai, owner. We are, we are trying to get more female uh, guards to join us, but probably because of cultural reasons here, uh, many cannot join us. Eight. Security guard Evelyn Kandiru has been with the company five years. She says her husband was against her work in security. That led to their separation. I'm very interested in this job, especially because I'm naturally physically fit. I think I am in the right job. When Kandiru found out she was pregnant, her fears about being fired were laid to rest. Instead of asking for her resignation, tight security simply asked for her due date to figure out her maternity leave as set out in the contract. Forty-five days after the birth, Kandiru was back at work. Kabagambe Sebastian, a guard at tight security, is pleased. I feel very happy to see my fellow worker, especially a lady, getting a maternity leave. Kabagambe Sebastian worked with the International Labor Organization, ILO, to help establish work rights for all employees. This time we have a right of expression. If you have a problem, you raise up your hand, you ask maybe the operations manager, or even the managing director himself. All these things uh, remove the negative pictures we had about the unions and Ministry of Labor and industrial inspectors and all that. We had a good interaction. And I think we understood their job fun functions a lot better. Tight Security is now training 25 women as supervisors and managers. Joseph Katende, ILO project coordinator. If you went to Tight Security, they will have no bad words against the union as of now because they are, they are regarded as partners. While Kandiru works, baby Moses is being cared for in her village by some 20 relatives whom she helps to support. Her dream, to help her family set up a small store to keep baby Moses always fed and to be able to send him to school one day. This report was prepared by the United Nations.